A lawyer, my lawyer, who also has done some legal work for me in the past, David Limbaugh, and also joining me is House Judiciary Committee member Congressman Matt Gates and Fox News contributor, my pal Doug Schoen. All right, I, I, I got to start with um, Congressman Gates on this. Richard Burr, the, uh, the, their investigation into the Russia collusion is going to go into 2019, and this guy's a Republican? What's going on? Judge, the Republican investigations here have been too slow and too secret. Here we are now in the lame duck Congress, and only now are we having subpoenas go out to Comey and Lynch. Those should have happened immediately when the inspector general issued his report that showed that there were these irregularities in the Hillary Clinton investigation that resulted in no one really being held accountable when the law was not followed by Comey and by others. So when you look at the total sum of what the Republicans have done, we drained the swamp of Comey by exposing him, McCabe, Page. In fact, the inspector general said never before had the top layers of the FBI been cleared out by this, but the fair criticism of us that you and others have logged is that we just didn't do it fast enough to actually hold Hillary Clinton and the people so, associated okay, with her accountable, and we never had a partner in Jeff Sessions. Uh, well, you, uh, forget Jeff Sessions. How about your own leader in the, in the House? Well, look, we've got leadership in the Congress and in the Judiciary Committee that's got one foot out the door, and maybe that's one reason why we didn't stick with a tough enough schedule. The most important thing we can do as we prepare for Democrat control is to ensure that Jim Jordan is the Republican leader of the Judiciary Committee. That way we won't have right. low-energy well, oversight. We'll actually have a so. real fighter. Let's hope so. Um, all right, David Limbaugh, I'm going to go to you on this. Look, Jim Comey says, I want to be out in the sunlight, and uh, I, I want to resist that subpoena. So he's moving to challenge the subpoena. All right, they want him to testify before a House committee on December 3rd. January 3rd is when the Democrats take over. So you've got Jim Comey's lawyer there, David Kelly, who I suspect will write a brief that's 29 pages long, and then get a judge to take three weeks to not even render a decision, and then we're nowhere with James Comey. Am I right or wrong? You're right about that. And, and you know, how preposterous is it for Comey to complain about leaks when he's the master of leaks? He leaked he, something to deliberately start this special counsel investigation. He's trying to inflame the Democrats because he thinks this is going to be fought in the court of public opinion because he has no real legal basis. But what really frosts me, Judge, is that he bent over backwards not to indict Hillary after he laid out an airtight case against her and then he claimed a standard that that there is no, uh, that, that you had to have a specific uh, intent to violate the criminal law. Nobody believes that. And so he bent over backwards and the IG said he was insubordinate. Why was he so willing or so adamant about not indicting her that he was willing to be insubordinate to his superiors and not indict her? We you, do need this hearing. The public has a right to know. And by the way, I'm not so impressed with this guy Horowitz either, to be honest with you. Insubordinate, who is he to get out of his lane as the head of the FBI and say, I'm going to speak for the attorney general and not notify anyone, allegedly, but I'm sure emails will come up that they did. I mean, don't you agree with that, Doug? You're you know, a Democrat. I'm a Democrat, and I wish I could sit here and say we have all the answers. In fact, we have none of the answers, Judge. I thought what Comey did in July of 96 was wrong. What of it did, 2016. Tw uh, yes, of, of 2016. 2016. I apologize. Yeah. And in October, I thought what he did again was wrong. I'd like to get to the bottom of why he did what he did and get him under oath and hear the answers to those questions. Okay, but isn't it outrageous, guys, when you think about it? And David Limbaugh made a point of this. This guy is the major leaker. He's the guy who leaked the information to his Columbia law professor friend who we employed as a non-government employee and he says I needed to get stuff into the public square so he has stuff that he we, should We should see if there to, was anything but, but that forget, was... I don't want to know what he wants to show us. Here's the thing. He was the head of the FBI. Right. He ran the biggest law enforcement agency in the world yeah. and when he gets fired he needs to get something in the public square which he could have done when he which was the head of the FBI. could have been classified and I think we should try to what? find that out too. All right. Congressman Gates, go ahead. 
Yeah, Judge, I actually have no objection to having this hearing in public. If anything, I've been critical of Republicans who think that the way to go after corruption is to have more meetings behind closed doors. I think we should have had every one of these interviews before the American people ask tough questions, hear the answers, because you know, it's very frustrating when you come back from behind closed doors, Democrats say one thing, Republicans say the other, and you don't have the American people in a position to make appropriate judgments. I hope going forward, more transparency will lead to that accountability that we've been calling for. You know, David, um, having, you know, given the fact that here we are, uh, you know, scheduling the, 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 the return on the subpoena for de December 3rd, I mean, are we ever going to know what's happened? The House is now in charge of investigations. I mean, you got Adam Schiff. I mean, even if Mueller finishes his investigation, you're the lawyer on the panel, Mueller finishes, those guys are going to continue going. Yeah, I, I hope they just make asses of themselves and, and it backfires in 2020. But, but I agree with the congressman that I have no problem with this being in public. In fact, Comey already made it public with all his interviews when he went out on his book tour. And if you remember, his, his explanations didn't pass the laugh test. Let, he, let him do this under oath and see how far he can go and who he can convince that he uh, had a legitimate basis not to indict Hillary Clinton that wasn't uh, connected to his political and partisan uh, preferences. All right. And David, what about this guy, Corsi? I mean, what is the significance of his plea? Well, he, before he was saying he knew nothing, he had no firsthand knowledge of anything concerning WikiLeaks and Julian Assange. But uh, there's some, I think Mueller is trying to connect uh, Trump to Assange, to WikiLeaks, indirectly through Stone and Corsi. And I obviously can't vouch for Stone and Corsi, but I do know uh, that they're a little nervous about it. And, but I don't think there's any connection in reality. I think maybe Stone was engaged in a little puffery when he said he predicted this, and, and Corsi predicted these uh, leaks were going to come out. I think he just hit on it accidentally. But any crime that would have been committed is going to be a process crime. Nothing to do with the right. substance of this right. investigation. All right. This entire thing has been a process thing. You know, and Congressman Gates, um, you know, when we heard so much about Loretta Lynch and uh, Bill Clinton on that mm -hmm. tarmac, only because some local reporter knew what was going on. We know there was no documentation. Everybody said there were no emails between the FBI and the DOJ. And of course, there were. Loretta Lynch used a different name and, and on and on and on. Um, um, how, how do these people, how are they not even brought up on disciplinary charges before at least the attorney's grievance committees? Well, you're absolutely right. Loretta Lynch was engaged in concealment of her own behavior, of the FBI's behavior, and of the chain of command, really, that we're supposed to be able to rely on even when it is stressed to give just results. Uh, I believe that there would be appropriate bar grievances regarding the obstruction and frustration of justice that was supposed to be occurring. And frankly, this is what Jeff Sessions' uh, Department of Justice should have been doing. Over the last two years, we had an opportunity to get the truth and show the American people, but because Shame Jeff Sessions them. was so resistant to the Shame calls for them. accountability, uh, we, we just didn't get the right answers. And I fear that we may have a circumstance where Hillary Clinton, Loretta Lynch, and James Comey may never see the inside of the jail cell that they deserve. And shame on us for not being tougher during these last yeah, two years. You know the what? Shame on the Republican leadership. Anyway, gentlemen, thanks so Thank much you. for being with us. Next, you're not.